And our other big story tonight, a tribute concert held for the man killed by a Palm Beach Gardens police officer. Loved ones gathering tonight to remember Corey Jones. And there are new details on the investigation into Jones's death. He was shot, as you'll remember, after his car broke down on the side of I-95. And tonight, the officer who shot him has been fired. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega is live at sunrise at the tribute concert. Aralia. Rick Rudabay, Corey Jones' family was in attendance at a gospel concert that just wrapped up here in Sunrise. The crowd cheered as mention was made of Officer Numan Raja's firing. And although the family says they are pleased with these latest developments, they are also hoping that criminal charges will soon follow. A gospel concert dedicated to Corey Jones, bringing a number of well known artists to the Faith Center in Sunrise. Jones family also on hand for the event, organized by Grammy Award winning gospel artist Ty Tribbett, Jones' cousin. The concert held the same day the city of Palm Beach Gardens announced the termination of the officer accused in Jones' death. The city of Palm Beach Gardens issuing the following statement that read in part that it's been cautiously and methodically considering the employment status of Officer Newman Raja. Therefore, Officer Raja, a probationary employee with the city, has been terminated from employment, end quote. One of the attorneys representing the family of Corey Jones calls this a step in the right direction. And seeing that they chose to fire him is a great indication that they believe that something was not properly followed. Raja is accused of killing Jones last month. Jones was waiting for roadside assistance on an I-95 off-ramp in Palm Beach Gardens when Raja approached him in an unmarked vehicle and not wearing his uniform. According to Palm Beach Gardens police, a confrontation took place and Raja shot Jones three times. Attorneys for the family are hoping criminal charges against Raja are forthcoming. And the information that we're gathering ourselves that there is enough there for Raja to be charged. And through events like this, the family hopes to keep Jones' memory alive as they seek justice in his death. And according to the city of Palm Beach Gardens, Officer Raja had been with the department since April and had not made it through his 12-month probationary period. We did reach out to the Police Benevolent Association in Palm Beach County, but never heard back. Live in Sunrise, Aralia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.